everybody, welcome back to Home Recording Made Easy.com and here on the YouTube channel. And this time out, we're going to take a look at another brand new plugin from Solid State Logic. We're going to take a look at the 4000E channel strip, which is part of the SSL native package, along with the Slate uh, Digital Complete Access Pass. If you uh, missed the Black Friday uh, big extravaganza um, where Slate Digital was um, doing a new package called Complete Access, where you get all the Slate plugins and all the SSL native plugins for one low price. It's the best bundle price or package on the market. In my opinion, a couple of videos I did for that, I'll link them in the description box below. During that Black Friday sale, they released this uh, 4000 E channel strip. So we're going to take a listen to this on a mix, going to walk you through the plugin, and then we're going to get out of here. Okay, so make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. We're talking about a plugin here for mixing. I want to give you a free mixing course, a $100 mixing course, right on the homepage. You can't miss it. Click on that orange button. It's my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll give you something else for free. All the links will be in the description box. So here is the brand new 4000E channel strip by Solid State Logic. So it looks very similar to the 4KB that we did a video on a few months ago. And that doesn't look a whole lot different from channel strip number, the channel strip two by SSL, which was the first channel strip that came out, which is based on the 9000 series. This is gonna have a little bit more of that cl uh, classic vintage sound as opposed to the more modern sound of Channel Strip 2. Again, I've done videos for all of these. Maybe I'll do a video comparing all three, we'll see. But let's walk through the Channel Strip. It's great, this is a great Channel Strip that you can use, you know, just using your mouse like you normally would, or if you want, you can use the Solid State Logic UC1, which is what I have in front of me. You don't see it on camera, but I did a whole series of videos on that. This is beautiful for controlling this plugin as well as all the other plugins. So let's walk through it. Top left-hand corner, we got our filters. Along the left-hand side, we have our EQ. High frequency, high mids, low mids in blue, and low frequencies down here in orange. Now you'll see that we have an EQ button here. This uh, plugin has the three different circuits of EQ that Solid State Logic made. We have the orange here, the brown, and the black. They're all gonna sound a little slightly different from each other. The, blocks, the black sounds a little bit more modern, a little bit more punchy. Uh, the brown sounds a little bit more warmer, a little bit more vintage. And the orange just kind of sits in between those two in my mind, with maybe a little bit more punch. I used orange on the kick because it gives it a little more punch. But really cool that you have all three here. And then next to that, we have our input meter, okay? In the center section here, we have our trim control, a phase polarity button, and we also have the mic pre that we can dial in here, which I did on most of the channels here to give you some of that classic SSL preamp sound. Then we have a solo, we can mute or cut. We have our uh, VCA fader here, which again, it's just not just not just a fader that you just turn the volume up and down, that's true, but it, they've also modeled the circuitry and the sound of this particular console's fader, which has a sound in and of itself, which is really cool. Then we have a side chain here that we can listen to the side chain, and then we have an output trim here that we can control. So as, as you boost things, you can level match the plugin instead of just turning down the fader, which gives you one type of sound, you can do that here with the trim here with your mouse here, okay? You can do that as well. Oops, let's put zero there, 0, 0.0, there we go, okay? Then we have our output meter here, okay? Um, then we have our dynamic section, we have our compressor here, ratio, threshold, release, we have a fast or slow attack button, fast or slow, and even the slow is fairly fast. Then we have our dynamics, we could turn in and out, in and off, on and off here, and then we have our gate expander section here, Along the bottom here, we have a way that we can choose how we want to route the audio. Right now, it's going from the filter section to the EQ to dynamics, but you can use these little drop-down arrows and you can rearrange the order if you choose to, which is cool, okay? Um, and then along the bottom here, we have high quality mode, which is gonna turn on some oversampling there. It's gonna give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, accurate uh, algorithm or a little bit more CPU intensive algorithm. And if you click on this as our settings pane, where we have analog VCA, which is this here. We could turn that on or off. We have the width mode, which is uh, works on the stereo plugins, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, and then the width frequency. Then we have the compressor auto makeup gain, which means that it'll automatically compensate. You could turn that on or off here as well. And then the auto makeup offset, we can plus or minus that if we want as well. Um, the hit the little magnifying black glass will let you resize the plugin all the way from 50% which is great for laptops, all the way up to, I think, what, 200? 125, 125. 
don't know why it has 150, 175, 200. Not sure about that. Doesn't matter. 125 works perfect on my screen. So you can resize the plugin. Oh, maybe it's because it's in high quality mode. Let's see. No, doesn't matter. Okay. So there we go. And then we can go out to the website. We can get to the, the we, these are, this is the little, is this the little tip button? I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, this will, this will actually give you, you turn on this question mark and as you scroll over things, it'll tell you what it is. It's like the little, you know, tip uh, thing there if you want you can turn that on, turn that off. And then we also have up here top above the compressor, we have a wet dry knob. And now if you have the uh, 360 software installed, which goes really great with the UF8 and UC1, you can click this and this will open up the 360, which we're not gonna look at this video here, but you'll see as I loaded up all my plugins, we have the whole SSL channel strip here. We're gonna do this in another video, taking a look at the improvements that they've made to the um, to the uh, 360 software. So that's the plugin. So basically what I did here is we have a, little, a short, small session here. We have a drum set here, kick and kick out, snare top and bottom, hats, tom one and two overheads and rooms, a bass, an acoustic guitar, two electric guitars and a piano. And I kind of went through and did you know, a little bit of a mix here, kind of EQ things, compress things a little bit, just to give you a feel and uh, for what it's gonna sound like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with them on, then I'm gonna turn them all off, turn them all back on, and then we'll dive into a couple of, we'll solo up a couple of tracks and let you listen to what the 4000E channel strip can do. So here's with them on, then I'll turn them off. Here we go. So you can hear what a difference it makes, right? Let's start on a couple of these tracks here and just solo it up so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. So let's start with, let's say our piano here. So let's solo up our piano. It's gonna kick in here in a second. Let me, uh, let me loop a section here. So here we go. So now on these stereo tracks, you have this width knob here. So I use a little bit of the preamp here to give it a little bit of a little grit here. So when you're in the green zone, obviously you're getting a little bit of coloration, but not much. And as you turn it up, obviously you can grid it up and distort it if you want. We have our filter section here, about 80 Hertz is a low cut. We added about nine dB at 8K on a shelf. Added a little bit of 4.5K, um, and that's really it using the orange EQ. But let me show you what the difference is between the EQs here. That's brown. Black. So the orange has a little bit more brightness to it. It's a little bit more obvious. I really like that orange kind of circuit, which is really cool. Then we have a little bit of dynamics happening here, a little compression. Now we have our width knob here. Pretty cool. Turn it off. I mean, it just sounds great. I mean, everything just sounds better that you put through this. Let's put it in the mix. Acoustic.
So I did a little low cut filter, about 150. We added about 5K, about 7 dB. Uh, we took a little bit out at 200 Hertz, about 4 dB, and that's it. And that's all we did. We used the preamp to drive a little bit of uh, signal using the pre. Here's a little bit of bass. Here's where we're driving the preamp a little harder, give it a little bit of grit. Cool. Adding a little bit at 105 hertz, about 8 dB on this orange EQ, and that's really about it. Low cut filter at about 40 hertz. A little bit of compression. And then you can turn down the output a little bit if you wanna compensate. Bring it back in the track. Here's our snare top. So a little bit of compression, slow attack. We're doing a low cut filter around 80. We're adding about 9 dB at 8K. We're adding another 8 dB at about 5K. On the orange EQ, I'm adding a little bit at 150, just to kind of give it a little more beef. And we're using the preamp circuit. In the track, here's what that sounds like. Here's our kick track, kick in. So here we're using the gate. Let me shut this off so you can see how much bleed was coming from the snare. So the snare is almost as loud as the kick. Turn the gate on and there we go. A little bit of compression, two to one ratio, about three dB. Adding a little bit more bottom end at 50 or 55 on this EQ. A little bit of slap at 8K. A little bit more at 3K. A little bit of preamp. Tightens it up. Now again, the differences between the EQs. Let me, let me boost this up so you can hear it. It's the brown. Black. So that orange key gives a little bit more of a round pillowy kind of effect. I kind of dig that. Again, before. In the track. Here's our rooms and then we'll end this video here. Let's take a listen to that. And we can use our width knob here. You wanna spread them out a little. To brighten it up even more. What a difference, right? We can turn down the output a little bit here. But what a difference that makes.
You hear the whole mix get wider when I do that. And then we have our overhead, same thing. We can use the uh, we can use the width knob on this, which I really like that width knob. Really makes a big difference. the bus compressor too here, a little SSL just to kind of squeeze it together. But this thing sounds great again. So once again, if we start here from the beginning here and we kind of I mean, it doesn't take a genius to hear that and tell you that it just sounds great, right? I love the SSL native plugins. They're, for the SSL channel strips, again, we've done reviews on the channel over the last couple of years from all the major manufacturers, Universal Audio, Plugin Alliance, um, and whoever else is out there. I got a bunch of them, uh, Waves, everybody else. I've always said that I like the SSL native stuff. Those, those tend to sound great to me. They just sound more authentic. And this one, because it's a, it's an E-series, I have an E-series, I have an, an SSL origin, a real SSL over on the other side of the, the studio here, which is based on the E-series with the black EQs. Um, and this sounds very, very similar to that. It's got that same kind of SSL thing. It's got that warmth and kind of thickness. Um, it doesn't, it's kind of, it doesn't get too shrilly on the top end. It sounds nice and smooth. It's got a little bit of a mid-range push. It's exactly what this, what the SSL sounds like. Um, so it sounds really, really good. And again, this is a little bit, it kind of sits between the vintage, more vintage -y sound of the 4KB, which is the one predecessor to this. And then the modern, more of the 9000 series sounds a little bit more, for lack of a better word, hi-fi, a little more punchy, a little more modern. The 4000 kind of sits in the middle of that sonically, in my opinion. And it's probably the most famous mixing console that's ever been made is an SSL 4000. I mean, you know, tens of thousands of records over the, you know, over the last 45 years, you know, I'd say 70% plus of them have been mixed on an SSL 4000 or the 4000E or the 4000G or the G plus. And so that's, you know, that's just, if you've listened to music in the last 40 years, you've heard thousands of songs mixed on an SSL. It has a very distinct sound. It was built for one thing and one thing only, mixing the consoles. Yes, you can record in them on them, but they're really known for mixing. Um, and this has that great sound. So I love this plugin. If you have that Slate Complete Access Pass, you get it for free. Um, again, you can check the channel and see the other reviews we've done for the other uh, SSL plugins. And this one's great, man. I really, really like this a lot. I, I hope uh, SSL comes out with some more really great plugins. All of their native plugins are all pretty much winners. They're, they make all suite of plugins that are just great. Um, and this one's no different. And again, if you have the UC1, um, which I have in front of me here, it makes it really fast to work on, which is beautiful too. So thank you for taking a look at the SSL 4000 e-channel strip by Solid State Logic. Again, I want to thank you so much once again for coming out and checking out this video. As I said at the beginning, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Get that free mixing course right on the homepage. It's $100. I want to give it to you for free. Once you start working with that course, if you dig my style of teaching and you want to check out one of my other full-featured training courses on my website, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. Put that in at checkout. It'll take 25% off any training course on the website. So until the next video where we take a look at some more great plugins, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video.